Hello everyone and welcome to the shortcast. I'm your host, Justin Hale, and my co-host, um, he isn't here. I don't know where he's at. This is our normal time and he's not here right now. So I have a spot for him. I, I just Photoshop him in or something, but the show must go on. So anyway, we had Man, hey. where have you been? Oh man, I got stuck in the truck. I got stuck when well, my truck got stuck at the fields. So uh, I just, I just slept in my truck. Why didn't you just call somebody, man? Uh, my phone died. I was, I was charging it. So I thought I had to be here anyway. So here we are. Well, you know what? I'm, I'm glad you made it. You came right on freaking time. Hey, um, not bad. Are you ready to get the show started? Let's do it. Want a, want a beer? Yeah. Oh shit, man. There you go. I'm your other host, Aaron Bone. And, <laughs> and welcome. Then... To the shortcast. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, we had a big weekend of rugby this weekend. 240 uh, minutes of rugby going on here at Huntsville. We sure did. We had the Valks versus... The Riveters. The Riveters. Riveters. I always forget their, their name. I know it's San yeah. Antonio. We had Hunt D2, D3 versus San Antonio as well. Mm -hmm. And man, I got to say, this was one of... The muddiest, sloppiest, sloppiest, dirtiest, dirtiest weekends of rugby that we've had here a long Man. time. I wish I could see the field and everything more, but it, it's it's terrible. I mean, what? Four or five it's cars got stuck, right? Five five cars got stuck. Five cars. And uh, shout out to our president, yeah, Mr. Hansel. Uh, he uh, he came and got everyone out with <laughs> out. He got us all unstuck. Oh, that's with, pretty yeah, awesome. With his uh, famous uh, Yoda taco. If you don't know what that is, look it up. You should know. But uh, yeah, he got us all out. <laughs> Shout out to you. Thank you. Thank you so much for getting us on Well, that's stuff. good to hear. You know, um, well, we get back to rugby. Yeah. Valk opened up the day with a dominant performance over San Antonio. Oh, I absolutely. Mean, structure, sa 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 astounding. It was amazing, their structure. Yeah. It was uh, fantastic to watch them play and execute the way they did, man. Yeah. Shout out. And for the Valk, that's, that's, that's typical Valk faction, man, the way, the way they run Texas. So uh, another, like I said, big shout out to the Valks. Absolutely. Uh, and after the Valks game, you know, they, they were a little bit more fortunate than the Huns because right after their game, the weather decides, you know what? Let's start raining. Let's make it rain. And let's not stop until And, and we don't mean this time to make it yeah. rain. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. Not the good kind. That'd be a good rain. <laughs> um, and so Huns, D3, Huns D3, D2 took on San Antonio. And, man, i got to say, it was a match. It was a very physical uh, other than being dirty and everything like that, it was a very physical match. Very physical yeah. match. I mean, we can see, and we'll throw some footage up here somewhere while we're talking, um, and y'all can see the the type of conditions that they were playing in this week this weekend. It was it was definitely hard fought. Uh, they San Antonio definitely came they came prepared, and they came gunning and fighting for a cup match. You know, yeah. they, they, like you should, and they they brought it to us. The heavy pack, heavy runners. Uh, oh. It was definitely a solid team, solid right. team, solid man, running. I was really impressed by their pack, man. Their uh, <clears throat> their pack has always had size. Both uh, both sides. Yeah. Both, both sides D2 had and D3. Huge sizes. Yeah. And, Absolutely. And one thing I was really impressed about, their their technique and everything seemed to be getting a whole lot better. I mean, they were, they were and I'll, honestly, they were pushing our scrums around. They were. Uh, they were. It was definitely, you know, account, account with the, you know, the traction being a little... You know, less they they brought it. They, they brought came it. in and they definitely, definitely pushed the pack multiple times. Multiple times. Multiple times. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, but you know, one thing I was really happy with, uh, although the Huns didn't have the outcome that that we wanted, the positivity on the field was was nothing shorter than amazing. I mean, one of the least players not arguing with each yeah. other. Yeah. Uh, people not getting down to each other. It was, it, it, and and our guys fought to the very end. Um, even we had a, still, you know, a lot of young guys, a lot of guys playing new positions, a lot of guys having to play up in roles, and and our guys fought to the very end. So I, I was really proud of our young we guys. Did. We did. Every, everyone, everyone fought. Everyone stayed positive. You know, about even uh, what happened with the outcome. They they came through, and the positivity was just outstanding. Brotherhood is one of the great things that make a club, and the, the, to follow that up with an outstanding event, such as the 12th annual 12 Bars of Christmas Pub Crawl, oh, 
that extends what it really means to be a club. It sure does. Obviously, man, you had a good time at the pub crawl. You're still in oh, your onesie. Am I still wearing it? <laughs> um, oh man, I didn't even realize. How did you enjoy uh, the pub crawl? Uh, let me tell you. Let me tell you what. It started strong and it finished even stronger. Oh, that's always good. To it hear. was incredible. It was well, well ran, well executed. We had over 100 people out oh, there. Oh, that's what I heard. Yeah, hey. it was it was fantastic, outstanding, and I, w I just want to give a shout out to Matthew Mitchell, aka Doormat, Doormat, for his powerful whistle blowing and letting us know when and when, when Dude. and where to get to the next bar. Why, why, why are you on his whistle, Doormat? You you may want to think about being a ref, man. I mean that that You'd may be have been some, some of the best, at least whistle blowing wise, some of the best whistle blowing I've ever heard. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know if you, <laughs> was it better than Scott. <sighs> it's yeah, pretty a close. Things, a lot of things are better than Scott. So. Uh, we won't talk uh, about this. That's a different about, episode. Yeah, different yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in all seriousness, a uh, doormat outstanding job with the pub crawl. And there was a few things, you know, most of the people made it through Ooh. all twelve bars. Ooh. Uh, I don't really want to give out too many names, but there's a few people who didn't. Uh, Wheezy, Kevin Cox, and a few <laughs> others got kicked out. Uh, but other than that, yes, the turkey fry was amazing. Uh, good eating, good food. I mean, we're going to pop up a little video here. It's going to be right there like you just did? Just right here, like this. So right in front of your face. Yeah. Perfect. Can, I got can you. Sound you. Ref? Hey. Can you sound my ref? Can you sound my ref? You know, hey, I was watching the um, the videos and stuff on Snapchat and mm -hmm. on Facebook and I was pretty jealous I didn't get, get to go to the, I'll tell to the you turkey what, fry. The turkeys looked amazing when they came out, but they tasted even better. Oh man, I was I even was jealous. Better. And I, well, some people are probably wondering well, why wasn't there? Because I hate when people say they didn't do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why. Uh, Had to go back to college station. You did. Uh, you did my you girlfriend did. was graduating with her master's degree. She did. Congrats from on Texas that. A&M University, the flagship school. Big big ups for the congratulations. Whatever. Nah, so congratulations to her. But yeah, man, the turkey fry looked amazing. Like it's yes. exciting. So for anybody who knows Huns and never been to Huns events, you will find out really fast that we are animal lovers here. Pet friendly. I mean, everybody has pets. I mean, I have a dog. You? I have a dog. You have a dog. Pretty Every much the whole team has a dog. Except for Adam. I think he has Adam, a cat. Adam has a cat. Yeah, I think so. Adam, yeah, he's kind of weird like that. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cat person. So, but anyways. With that being said, uh, the Austin Huns have now partnered with Sky Blue Kennels, who's right down the street from the field. Uh, Sky Blue Kennel does does dog boarding, animal boarding, and so yeah, gr all, grooming as well. They do they, they do, do a lot with with and uh, training. With pets. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, they got they have heated they have heated kennels. They sure do, uh, which is pretty awesome. But all our social members, active hunt players, and active Valkyries, yeah, twenty five percent off boarding the whole year. Huh. And we, we do travel a lot. We do travel quite a bit. Hey, uh, Visit Sky Blue Kennels. I put their link down here. I think it's skybluetx.com or skybluekennelsatx.com. I'm not sure. Just look at the link. I'm really not sure. Um, oh, but while we're on Sky Blue Kennels, huh? Aaron, oh. I, got a, I got a treat. Huh? What is this? The 2018. Oh. Boom! Snap. Sky Blue Kennels, Austin Huns, Austin Valkyries. Ooh. Calendar, yes, 2018. So it's still this good. is the calendar to have on your Look refrigerator. Buy you a calendar. Who's that? Fridges. That's Heller. Oh, it's Heller. Heller, you got some Huns players with their animals. I mean, I want to flip, I want to flip a little bit. Oh, July, we got some Valkyries in here. But when we go to October, look at Mr. Hey, President, look at that Presidente, and look who's on November. Ooh. Odin, that's a big dog. I don't know if y'all can see. Is that close enough? We don't have a cameraman, so um. Visit the Hun Shop and purchase your calendar. And while you're at the Hun Shop, shop.hunsrugby.com. Yeah, get these beautiful baby blue Huns hoodies. Boom, right here. Bam. This, this is actually my favorite hoodie. Oh, it's it's soft. I want to get one, but um, I'm not clean enough to have a, ba a yeah, light not, baby blue hoodie. Not right now. Hoodie. I've got the gray one. And they're produced here locally, so Huns are supporting local business. Yep, ASP, uh, right? ASP, yeah, Austin Screen Printing. So check yep. them out. They make, Absolutely. Outstanding, they make outstanding gear. But... Let's also give a big shout out to uh, our, one of our biggest supporters. As usual. ABW. Absolutely. Today we have uh, their Austin Beer Works Pearl Snap. It's their ginger German style pills. Not ginger. I don't know why we're ginger. Uh, you can't read. No, it's been a long weekend, guys. Um, as you can tell, I haven't changed much. But that's it. Yeah, I think I think that wrap, wraps it up for us. That's uh, everything I have. So, yeah, so stay tuned for our next one. And again, I'm your host, Aaron Bone. I'm your other host. Justin Hale, and this is a short cast. All right.